Thank you, Coach. We are in the Pacific Northwest as we get set for football at CenturyLink Field here in Seattle. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line with the Kansas City Chiefs. Now they try the right side here. Some fancy footwork, but not much room to operate. Just up past the 25 and no further. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A good pick up there, a 22. Such a valuable commodity to have a tight end who can run and get open. How about what he just did there? Worked his way from right to left across the field and found his way free. And they'll run it here. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. On second down, here's Mahomes. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Chris Conley, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them, they're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. That goes for a gain of 31. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down in bounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss a one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he misfires. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. He definitely wants that one back. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And this is going to be incomplete. The linebacker Bobby Wagner able to get back in coverage and knock it free. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. And Butker able to put this one through. And the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. So a nice drive on the road. You come in, you take the ball down, you get three points. Yeah, points are a must on an opening drive, right? So they moved it down efficiently, got it done. I think that bodes well for their chances moving forward in this one.
After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Tyler Lockett now with a return. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10, just shy of the 30. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. What's the old expression, three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. They snap it at one. Now Wilson. He'll lock it with a grab over the middle. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Wilson to lock it there for the Seahawk first down. down carry for Davis and he will be brought down at about the 43 that time give him three on first down it'll set up a second and seven they tried a quick hitter inside but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through didn't happen on that play They'll run it now out of the gun. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Well, that rate picking up three yards of carry, you and I both know that doesn't cut it in this league in trying to get first downs unless you're playing four-down football. Then that's a whole different situation. But I don't think that's what they're trying to do here. Third and four, though, is still manageable. From the gun on third down, Wilson into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off here by Anthony Hitchens. And they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback, but as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the field. Middle portion, you know it's going to come in hot. Square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch. And they get him down right near the midfield stripe. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block if you're an offensive lineman. Nice early burst. Nice gain, too. Here we go. Green. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed as that's going to move the chains. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. But I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Here we go. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Mahomes now to throw, and it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, 
He's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. And on the ground they go with a running back. Oh, breaks a tackle, and he's got an alley. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. I don't care what the game plan was coming in, after these runs... You're running it, right? <laughs> you, you, you make sure you keep circling on your play sheet, running plays that are working, and keep patting those big offensive linemen on the back. They're doing a great job. It goes without saying, the defense is going to have to adjust to it. In a big way, and they've got to figure out, do they have to sell out to stop the run, or can they just do it better than what they've done so far? Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. Here we go. Blue 45. Blue 45. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. This is caught. Watkins. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Five yards that time on the completion, and now it's third and goal. This stadium once registered as the loudest roar ever recorded, and you can hear them now, third and goal. Snap coming at one, and it's Mahomes. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, a five-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead grows to 10-0. Butker now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. Then he breaks it all the way out to the 38-yard line. Great return. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and it'll be second and 12. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well. But when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him. And some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. And he's got Lockett. Room here to run. And he'll be marked down all the way inside the KC-10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they foot field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. An inaugural trip to the red zone here for the Seahawks. They're looking at a first and goal from about the nine. 
They run it with Carson. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. Second and goal from inside the five. Here's Wilson. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Seahawks have made this a one-score game. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Janikowski adds the extra point, and that'll cut it to three at to kick is Janikowski. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. And out come the Chiefs now. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 21. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he checks this one down to Williams. And he showcases the spin, a pretty good gain before he's taken down. Give him nine on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Ready. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. The Chiefs on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Four down, four down. Here we go. Three, three. And they'll go on the ground. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Three, Back Three, now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. as the Chiefs in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter. And they've got it here with a first down from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Mahomes now on first down. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Well, you talked about the need for them to establish the run early. They've been able to do that here in the first half. And that means that the whole offense has adopted that attitude and that persona. We're going to take care of this young quarterback. Let's all get together and run it and take the pressure off. 
They go play action here on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Watkins. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Here we go. Green, 39. Now here's Mahomes. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawks defense. Frank Clark. In there to bury him for a loss of 11. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. Now, now Mahomes. He is going to find Hill here. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Give him 30 yards there. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive the team towards a victory. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And they'll run it here. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. The Chiefs on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. Here it's third and three. Here's Mahomes to throw. The quick slant caught. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Kelvin Benjamin from six yards away. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. When you give up a long touchdown drive, you're looking for a silver lining. In this case, it's the fact that your offense had a chance to rest, and now they can come out in the field charged up and ready to go. Extra point splits the uprights, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tummy. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And his throw is incomplete. All right, partner, let's peek ahead to week 15 while we have a second here. It starts out with a good one on Thursday night. How about the Chargers and the Chiefs, a battle in the AFC West? Yeah, it could very well decide the division, and that's a huge, huge ball game. And, and who saw that coming when the season began? 
that this would decide the whole deal. How about our first Saturday games of the year? Texans, Jets, Browns, Broncos, and those are going to feature the young quarterbacks. Sam Darnold with the Jets, Baker Mayfield with the Browns. And then Sunday, the late game, Pats and Steelers. You get Eagles, Rams Sunday night, Saints, Panthers Monday. I mean, hello, week 15. Yeah, that means I'm doing absolutely nothing the entire weekend except sitting on the couch and watching ball. Well, you're also working a game on Sunday. Oh, yeah, besides that. Okay. All right. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. From the shotgun, Wilson. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And they will finally bring this run back to an end, but not before he's down inside the five-yard line at the four. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. Here we go. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track and it cost him. How crucial will those five yards be? We'll see as they come up again here third and goal. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And this is going to be caught. No, they say it's incomplete. Just what Seattle was hoping for. The coverage holds. And now fourth down. The way he's been slinging in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown. But I guess he's got to wait to try and pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right not to be. And the kick by Butker is good. And that will open the lead up now to 20 to 7. The bottom line, tremendous starting field position really squandered there as they wind up going backwards and then come up with just three. Well, getting the three turned out to be important. I can imagine the head coach when he ordered the field goal, please salvage something out of this drive. That was not fun to watch. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. On the return, the All-Pro two years ago, Tyler Lockett. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 27. They'll begin the drive with Carson, able to get away. That's why you keep the legs churning. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Now a play fake here on first down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Anthony Hitchens. Coming on the blitz, he gets him for a loss of seven. 
I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. What, he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for all it. Right. Now Wilson on second down. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. And the Seahawks on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 17. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And avoids the contact by sliding. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the game. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Mahomes going to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Now before the game, you and I were looking at some of the highlights from last week, and one of the top plays was certainly that 99-yard touchdown run by Derrick Henry. Not only was it a top play, it's going to be memorable, and again, not just for 99 yards, which is enough of a reason to remember it, but the way he got it done. Hey! I mean, how about him knocking over people, stiff-arming people? I mean, it was an incredible, strong run. Tony Dorsett, who actually held the record before Derrick Henry, he hit him up on social media, gave him a little dap, a little congratulations. What a play. Yeah, those are the only two guys to have a 99-yard touchdown run. Incidentally, both of them Heisman Trophy winners as well. And a friend of ours on social media, he sent out a post that said, and with that run, Derrick Henry locks up his second Heisman Trophy. Here we go. Blue 45. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Frank Clark in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. Now now. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. So that'll back him up five. Second down, here's Mahomes. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. Doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just, I, they move, and they know it affects the defense, because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary. I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open, probably because of his movement out of the pocket. So on fourth down, Dustin Colquitt to punt for KC. And 
And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, <laughs> all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Oh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But some, hey, listen, if some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. It's caught. Baldwin. And down he'll go at the 25. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Now a handoff looking right. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he slides to avoid the hit. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now Wilson on first down. His throw incomplete. Tyler Lockett was the target there. And that'll bring up second down. Well, you know, thinking back to last week around the league, it was one, we've had some crazy weeks this year, Charles, <laughs> but this was one of the crazier, maybe the craziest week that we've had. You think about the 99-yard run that sort of kicked it all off. Of course, that wild finish in Miami. I mean, we saw a bunch of interesting things. We certainly did. How about the three worst teams by record in the NFL? The Jets, the Raiders, the 49ers all won on the same weekend. We had overtime in Kansas City and in Dallas. And the two front runners in the NFC, New Orleans got a scare in Tampa Bay, and the Rams lost in Chicago. Yeah, crazy, crazy weekend. It figures to be a crazy finish the rest of the way in this NFL season. And he's got his target. That's more. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead, as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. On first down, Wilson. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Okay, with that incompletion, I've been waiting to get this in because I wanted to ask you about that crazy finish in Miami. How in the world did they find their way to the end zone? That was something, wasn't it? And I've seen a few along the way. In college football, Boise State over Oklahoma in the Fiesta Bowl. You remember that one yep. with the hook and lateral play, and they had a bunch of crazy plays down the stretch. But this one in the NFL, especially considering you kind of knew they had to do something like this, yet they still were able to pull it off. 69 yards, Tannehill to Stills, to Parker, to Kenyon Drake. And then, of course, Gronk was on the field in case they threw the Hail Mary. Outran Gronk to the end zone. What a finish for the Dolphins. So last year we had the Minnesota Miracle. Now we had the Miami Miracle this season. And the Seahawks on third down. They've hit it 50%. Three of six to this point. This is third and four. Wilson will throw again. He's got the tight end, Vanette. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Wilson 
And he's taken down. A chief sack. Allen Bailey in there to sack him for a loss of six. On second down, here's Wilson. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. The Seahawks on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and 11. Operating from the gun. Wilson. Pressure comes and Wilson's going to go down. Allen Bailey in there to get him for his second sack of the night. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top as we send you cross country to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone, and he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. From the gun, Wilson. It's caught on the left side by Baldwin. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. I don't care how many times you tell the story, it never loses its luster for me. Doug Baldwin, undrafted out of Stanford, and plays like a number one receiver should in the NFL. I don't care how you cover him. I don't care that his size isn't great. He's the one that typically comes up with the football. Absolutely. His roots go all the way back to Gulf Breeze, Florida, where he's from right on the water near Pensacola. And then, of course, to Stanford. And, boy, he's been good. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. They run again with Carson, and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. He lost two there, and it's third down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Third and long, it's Wilson. He finds his man, Baldwin. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. That's complete right around the eight. And here he'll get it down to the seven. That throw good for four. It's second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. 
Brandon, we're into the second half, and this offense has not scored a lot of points, and that was another example of why. I think it's time to open things up and start really trying to move the ball. The Seahawks on third down, five out of nine thus far. This is third and eight. To throw is Wilson, operating from the go. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Jerron Brown, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks able to make this a close game again. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Janikowski good with the extra point. And the lead will shrink to six. to kick is Janikowski. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was punt the football because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Here we go now. Mahomes to throw on second down. On target over the middle to Hill. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Green, 39. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And it's complete to Kelsey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He's up to 70 yards receiving now as that last catch gets him a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Here we go now. Three, 39. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Here we go now. They stay on the ground this time. It's Williams. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. I know flashy plays, splashy plays, as people like to call them. That attracts a lot of attention. But let's face it, when you're efficient, that can control a ball game. And I love the game plan they've got going right now. Back-to-back five-yard gains. Didn't force the ball downfield. Picked it up on the ground. Yeah, offensive line, they're getting it done. And they'll go on the ground. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. On second down, Williams in a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. 
Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. The Chiefs on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. Here it's third and two. And that'll set them back five. Not ideal there. That delay of game backs them up five yards, so now they need seven yards on third down. Here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. They want to be methodical, or they want to take the big strike and go after it right now. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 at the 20. Throwing is Wilson. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. Now a bottle about fumble. It's out, it's loose, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. Well, he did what he's known for. He made the catch, then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player, when they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch it, you have to make them pay sometimes. You have to put it on them, big tackle, knock the ball free. Anything you can do to slow them down. Yeah, he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. And the Seahawks on third down. They're hitting at 60%, six out of 10 thus far. This will be third and five. Here's Wilson from the gun. He'll throw. And the Chiefs are going to get him. D Ford in there to get him for a loss of nine. And that'll lead to fourth down. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Now here's Michael Dixon standing just outside his own goal line. This is fielded at the 27. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And now here comes Kansas City. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that can put your team in some jeopardy? And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Here we go now. They go play action here on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target. And now it's second down. The CD, by the way, we have some news from the eSports world. First Give it major, to me. Give yeah, it to me. First major of the new year. The Madden Classic was held in Las Vegas during week 14 of the NFL season. 170 players. Yeah, did you see the money? Over $150,000 in prize not money. Not so bad, and, uh, huh? Yeah. Not too shabby. Hey, and your winner, great, I'll let you do the honors for the second Skimbo. straight year. Michael Skimbo, second straight year. The man walks away with the money and the championship belt. He beat Justin Little Man Brown 28-21 in the final. I think the world was looking forward to this one, and they got it. 
And I can't wait to see how Skimbo does with the rest of the majors now. He is the man to beat. Sorry, little man Barone. Congratulations, Skimbo. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They run again with Ware. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. A couple of first downs have them to the 40 now on first and 10. Here we go now. Three, 39. Mahomes now on first down. Now Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Frank Clark in there to get him again. The third time he sacked him here tonight. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. From midfield, here's Mahomes. He's got the hookup with Conley. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Here we go. Green, 39. And the blitz does come. And he's going to drop this off to Williams. Complete. And he gets it down to the 32. They'll give him eight on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. And Butker able to put this one through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So that's a big one. Obviously, Charles makes it a two-score game. His third field goal of the game, able to knock it through. Yeah, not exactly free and clear yet, but as a defense, you get to play a little bit looser, don't you? Because you do now have a little bit of a margin of error, don't you? After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. This will be fielded at the six. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. On first and ten, it's Wilson. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Wilson now off the bootleg. 
And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Well, the pressure, the hits, the sacks have been coming at him all game long. I'm frankly surprised that they haven't found a solution yet to create more time for him to throw it or maybe change what they do on offense. And yeah, that's one of the biggest differences in this game and why they're losing right now. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Davis, he'll try to run for it. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Baldwin with it over the middle. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Wide open receiver complete. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. They'll try to punch it in with Davis. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. He gets it halfway there with that run. I think you play up-tempo, get right back on the line of scrimmage, and hammer out him again. From the two now, second and goal. They come out here in the eye. They'll try to run with Carson. And he will not be denied zone touchdown Seahawks a great play there taking it in from two yards out and the Seahawks have made this a one score game Janikowski on for the extra point a little surprising they wouldn't go for two but this is up and good and the lead is down to two to kick is Janikowski. This is fielded at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback. This to me, he's got to take over right now by word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My high school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. On play action, it's Mahomes. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended target, and it's third and short. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, 
they'll miss up 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of 10 times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. Able to find Harris complete. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. First time they've looked his way in this game. He comes through picking up the first. Mahomes now a perfect 8 for 8 to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. A gain of three, second down. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there, and on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing, in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. He'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Now it appears we've got a Chief moving pretty gingerly down there. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Here we go. Mahomes going to throw. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number, and we can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Here we go now. Three, 90. He'll get it Three, up 90. the middle. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. The penalty yards marched off as they'll try again on second and goal. Ready! Blue 45! Blue 45! Ah. Following the penalty, it's Williams. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. He's able to get four back on the run, but now they'll have to find something here on third and about 14. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. 
This offense bent the defense in their long drive downfield, but once they got within sight of the goal line, the defense went to don't break mode and is stiffened. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This a 33-yard attempt. And the kick by Butker is good. And that will push the lead up to five. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden they're down. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Lockett, the return. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Daniel Sorensen there on the coverage. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Wilson now throwing again. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Baldwin. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Yeah, you have to like the play call because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Now Wilson on first down. He's got the tight end, Vanette. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. They come out here in the eye. And they'll run it here. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. It's second and goal, back to the eight-yard line now. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he showed a nice little juke, but then the window quickly closed. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. They'll look to throw. And there's Baldwin. Touchdown, Seattle. Doug Baldwin from three yards out. And the Seahawks have taken the lead here in the fourth. 
Wow, I know it's a never say never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's gonna finish him off. The score that puts him in front here late, but that you gotta rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. to kick is Janikowski. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And now here comes Kansas City. And we have seen a lot on the scoreboard here in this quarter. So you, you, sometimes you talk to me about tendency breakers on offense. These defenses struggling. Are there tendency breakers on defense? All defensive coordinators keep something in their hip pocket for these types of situations. What can we do to slow down the onslaught? But the biggest thing is make sure these guys encourage each other, pick themselves up, because right now, it's been a really tough ball game trying to stop these offenses. Oh, it really has, especially as of late. A throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Now a 10th carry, here's Williams. And he powers his way up past the 30. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. the 38. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. And Charles, this infraction is going to be against the offense. False start. Sometimes you have to get up to the line of scrimmage, make sure your team is set before you begin your cadence. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. He's back to throw. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they've got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week at practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, and when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective, taking care of the ball is so important. I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. From the 21, it's second and 10. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. And the Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Come on, let's go. 
They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eighth. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. The Seahawks in victory formation as they go ahead and take the knee. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Partner, they took a knee to finish this one off. To me, that's the only thing they lost in the fourth quarter. How about that comeback? Yeah, trailed coming into the last frame. Got it done, taking the knee. Now they need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. Well, I know it points to this when you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people who really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball <laughs> parks, right? Seeing the 14-11 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Seahawks here as we say so long from Seattle.